Hi, I'm Justin Lee with Confluent. In this module, we'll recap everything we talked about and summarize your networking options in Confluent Cloud. So let's summarize. As we design a network architecture for Confluent Cloud, we like to keep in mind the data flow. This comes down to three things. What services are connecting to Confluent Cloud? What clients are we running? What replication do we have to manage? And where does our data come from and where does it go? Where do these services live? Are they running on-premise in a data center? Are they running in a cloud provider in the same region, in a different region, or even in a different cloud provider? Do we have to access Confluent Cloud from a corporate or home office network? How are we connecting to Confluent Cloud? We'll summarize these options next. Each of the different cloud networking options have different security behaviors and provide different levels of ease of use and access. With secure public endpoints, you can access your Confluent Cloud cluster from anywhere. It's easy to set up and can be used for clients and services that span from on-premise environments to any private or public cloud. With VPC or VNet direct peering, your cluster is only accessed over the peering connection. It requires a slash 16 CIDR range for the Confluent network and provides bi-directional connectivity from your cloud network to the Confluent cloud network. This allows you to run managed connectors to access your private network data sources and data sinks. AWS Transit Gateway builds on a peering network. It only works in AWS, but it removes the requirement for one-to-one -one peering connections. It also makes connectivity to other cloud environments or even your data center much easier. Finally, PrivateLink is a one-way connection that allows your clients to access Confluent Cloud, but not the other way around. It doesn't require a slash 16 CIDR range, but it does require a custom zone in your DNS infrastructure. Also, because it uses just a set of endpoints, any clients that can access the VPC or VNet where the private endpoints reside can access Confluent Cloud. To sum it all up, this is what Confluent Cloud looks like from a network architecture perspective. We have the control plane, which is always accessed over the internet and is used for provisioning, managing, and monitoring. Most importantly, we have the data plane, which has the internet accessible schema registry, as well as your Confluent network, which can be accessed over a secure public endpoint, over a peering connection, either directly or through a transit gateway, or over a private link connection. Thank you for joining us in this course. Please check out our other courses on Confluent Developer. Mm -hmm.